Hello everyone, you're joining me again, Ruku, and this time we're heading to Israel for some Israeli beer called Gold Star. Um, complete with the Israeli writing, and he even says there, Israel. Um, right, so this comes in at 4.9, if you can see it somewhere, amongst the Arabic writing. There we go, just there, 4.9. So yeah, a nice weak looking beer, but actually, when you first look at it, it's quite a dark lager and it's quite strong looking. And uh, there we go, just for anyone else, there's the cap. Gold Star Israel, nice and funky star. Right then, I had this many, many years ago, about two years ago. I uh, can't really remember a lot about it, so I'm going to be doing another review just for you guys. Um, there's a head. Quite a good head. I uh, wouldn't say it's uh, too thick, but actually it's not a bad head. It's got good consistency. Very, very dark, like a rustic amber colour. And the camera is going to now do its weird autofocus thing, so if you'd like to bear with me. Oh, come on. There we go, right, so we're back, and uh, here we go then, so that's the colour. You see the bubbles there, slow but steady. Um, very, very dark looking. And again, there, there's the head, just to give you an idea. Right, so let's uh, see what Israel can produce, and uh, I'm going to get on with some smelling now, and uh, see what we can pick out from this beer. Smells of like a roasted malt. Some smelling of like a little bit of spice in there, I'm not quite sure what. Yeah, I'd say just a roasted malt and a spice, really. A little bit perfumed, but not overly. Yeah, it smells quite alright. Just give it a bit of a whirl. There we go. Alright, so doing that, there's not much lacing. But there we go. Let's give it another go, see if we can get some more lacing. No, no lacing at all, so here we go then. I'm going to taste. Okay, this tastes very much like an ale. It's like that um, sort of rustic taste with the, you know, the irony taste as well, like most ales give you. And again, that sort of blandness. Essence of malt there coming through. Um, medium to dry aftertaste. But again, there's lots of sort of this spice thing going on. I don't know what it is, but there's like, um, it tastes a bit like nutmeg-ish sort of, um, you know, just there in the background sort of floating through just to give it a little bit of the flavour because it, it is quite ale-ish. It's, it's very much like an ale in the sense of how it tastes. Can't taste the head as such. The head is quite quick to just disappear in the mouth. There's no sort of real feel to that. And uh, the lacing in the mouth is quite nice. It's just quick, gentle, precise. A little bit dry again. But you get like this uh, sort of spice come through that just takes that slight edge off the ale. Typical ale taste. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. Different from what I remember it to be like. Um... As you can see though, the head's virtually now disappeared. No lacing at all, which is good. Uh, I wouldn't say this is a light beer, but I wouldn't say it's a heavy beer, so I'd say it's sort of a mid-range kind of beer that you could probably drink a fair bit of um, and not really be gassed out or any bloated, you know, sort of feeling and, you know, not want to drink. So, and I wouldn't say it's particularly light either. Again, no carbonation in the mouth. It's very steel, very flat in the mouth, despite actually being quite fizzy um, in the glass there. 
slow but gentle as I said before um, but when you get it in you know there's no real sort of carbonation in the mouth it's just dead steel again I'm gonna say it again very ale like steel bland semi ironish but you've got sort of a slight roasted malt with a little bit of spice there I don't know what the spice is but as I said I think it could be nutmeg something around that region uh, I'm not an expert but that's basically what I'm picking up on um, I'm not a big fan of the aftertaste because generally there there's not a lot of aftertaste. If you like ales, you'd probably like this beer, definitely. Um, all my fans from uh, overseas, they all know that I don't particularly drink ales, but um, there we go. I've had a few ales in the time, but uh, this definitely is ale-like. Not bad, though, for a 3.30, and uh got to admit, at 4.9, that's not a bad strength for this type of beer again. In Israel, they're not exactly drinkers, I shouldn't imagine anyway, uh, because of their religion and uh, whatnot. But at 4.9, that ain't a bad bad percent for a beer of this sort of caliber anyway. So, I'm just gonna have one more swig and I'll give it a good score. Again, notice the lacing, virtually none. Right. Just before I give it a score, I'm getting more of a dry aftertaste now, so as you drink it, it gets a little bit drier, but uh, not too bad. So, what would I give Gold Star from Israel? Um, I really can't decide because I don't really like my ales, but at the same time, this is quite a nice beer and I'll be quite happy to drink this all day. So, I think I would give this a 7. Uh, or actually, should I give that a 7.5? Yeah, fuck it, why not? I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. Um, only being because I could drink this quite a lot. So, even though it's ale-like tasting and a bit drier, but you can't go wrong, really. It's quite a smooth, subtle beer that, um, you know, does the job, basically. So, yeah, so from Israel, gold star.